But go like that. You just won five bucks. You go like that. Five bucks. It has to spin, you get five bucks. If it spins, you get five bucks. If it just goes out, you get no money. If you do two of them, ten dollars. You go like that, split it apart. You win my car! It's a Mazda 5 van, 160,000 miles. You'll enjoy it. Enjoy it. All right. Are you ready? Who's gonna Who's gonna do it? Hands up! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. A little bit of everybody. Danielle, get up to the stage. You're gonna do it. Uh, dude in the in the very back in the red shirt. You come up to the stage. Do let's see. Glasses, dude. You get to the stage. We got one, two. Uh, we're all human. Get to the stage. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go. Let's see. Come up on the stage. You actually can get on the stage. Get up on the stage. I'm gonna go. Uh, out there, blue shirt. Come on over to the side. Perfect. All right. All right. We're gonna go. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll start over here. What is your name? Stand right there, so. Everyone say, hi, Sophia! Hi, Sophia! Sophia, this is how you do it. You dip it down, you catch it, boom, just like that. You out Whoa, what was that? So just like that, you catch it, which one you want, left or right. Cheers, Paul. Take it, I'm going to show you how to do it. Face me, Sophia. Pull it out a little bit. You can hold it with one hand and do it. Or some kids, when they're a little bit little, they do it with two hands, and then they win $5. Are right, you ready, Sophia? Did you have a lot of nutrition? Are you full? Are you hungry? Do you need anything? Alright, go for it! Oh. That, was, that was like you were like this, Sophia. I got it, I got it! Oh, <laughs> Clap for Sophia, everybody. Yeah. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna go, Mr. Red, stand there. That's you. That's you. What is your name? Gabriel. Why, why is it when I said Mr. Red, you were like, who, where is he? <laughs> is he here? That would be you. Are you confused when I said Mr. Red, and then you're like, is he here today? <laughs> where is he? Gabriel, do you know what city you live in? No. State? Do you know what state? Country? Do you know what country? We're Canadians. This is all Canadians. <laughs> Say you're a Canadian. And if they ask you what state you live in, say it's a province. I live in Victoria. And they sound really, you know, Canadian. Say a boot. Say a boot. And then say, hey, do you want to talk about Zamboni machines? Because that's all Canadians talk about. Zamboni machines. Tell you, Gabriel. Look at me. Back up one step. I want you to win, Gabriel. Hold it with two hands at the very back. Get it away from your body. You ready, Gabriel? Look at me. That's not a turn. That just fell out. You ready, Gabriel? Here we go, Gabriel. Ready? Okay! That's for Gabriel, everybody. Good job, buddy. Stand right there. What is your name? Gabby? Gabby, where do you live? California, that's all we need. Good answer. You're not a Canadian, right? No. Do you know what Canadians do? They eat a lot of syrup. Let's <laughs> that up. Because when you look at somebody, if they smell like syrup, they, half the time they're Canadian. You can get the stench of maple syrup on them, but they're Canadian. Are you ready? Gabby, yeah, take it. What was that? You tried to kill me with it, Gabby. You're like your own little assassin squad, whacking me with it. Clap for Gabby, everybody. Right. Glasses, stand there. What is your name? Carter, right? Carter. Uh, do you enjoy wearing flip flops? <laughs> I find it a little disrespectful to the judge of the show. That's just me. But if you enjoy it, I'm going to allow it, Carter. But when you get in the professional setting and you go to the office and you go to a meeting for your job interview, are we wearing flip-flops? No, you are! You're a coder! You always wear flip-flops! <laughs> <laughs> right. Carter, 
where, where do you live? Burbank, California. We can have both answers right ready to go. Last question. I'm nearsighted. Do you know if you're nearsighted or farsighted? You get a dollar for all the answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the answers. Take it, Carter. Right? <laughs> plus that dollar, you'll be the big winner so far in the show. You'll probably be going to the showcase show after, so you know. Here we go. Like that, like that, like that. Ooh, very close. Popper Carter, get your dollars in for that. Daniela, when were you here last? Okay, I know, I know the show is always on a Saturday. You like, like a year ago, half a year, two years, last year, this is it. You've been practicing for $5, you tip it like that, pose it like that, you can go one-handed, you can do two-handed, this one is going to go nuts. Nuggets out is always kind of tough. You pull them out, there's one nugget, two nuggets. So whenever you get nuggets at McDonald's, there's four nuggets per chicken. So if you get six, that's a chicken and a half. <laughs> ten, do the math. Four goes into ten twice, so it's two and a half chickens. Come on, it's easy math. On the count of three, say chicken towel. One, two, three. Chicken towel! And it's a chicken! <laughs> on your shoe, which is going to make it really difficult. Do you want me to balance it, or do you want to try to do an activity where you can win money? Which do you want? Clap for Bella, everybody. Come to the stage, Bella. Stand right there, Bella. It's kind of a crazy device. It's all right, Bella. It's all right. Bella, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Perfect. This will work. Bella, I need you. All you gotta do, each box is worth a dollar. Got it? So, this is how it works. You throw one up, you clap, you catch it, you just want a dollar. Got it, Bella? You do that. 
do two, it's two bucks. If you get all the way to all seven of them, here we go. Get ready. Take them. And then you catch them. That's seven dollars. But Bella, if at any time you drop them, you lose all the money that you've earned. So you got to know if you want to stop. Take a box. I'm going to help you through this, Bella. Put your hands on the side like that. Bella, where do you live? What city? Winnetka. Winnetka. That came a bit of a ways. Thank you for that. And I mean, in Roman High, it's a bit of a ways, too. When that DMV is where they failed my daughter for her first test <laughs> She almost had it, but then there was one thing we only practiced once, and uh, I had to switch off, and she was crying all the way home. There you go. How many times do you cry a week? If it's any less than ten, you're not a normal girl. <laughs> all right, Isabella, right? Like that. You go up, clap. You just won a dollar. Clap for Isabella! You want to keep that dollar and go back to Winnetka and go crazy? Or do you want to go for two dollars? Take that. Let me get it ready for you. Here we go. Put them nice together. Hold them tight together. Hands flat like so. You go up, clap, and then catch it. That's two bucks. Oh, no, you didn't clap, but I'll, I'll, you, that's okay. You can still do it. You freaked out on yourself. You were like, what do I do? <laughs> that was at the DMV last week. You, know I mean? you get in the car, you freak out. What? Yeah, I know, because there was crying, then there was more crying, and then there was like, my, here's my favorite thing my daughter said. She goes, the guy didn't understand. I want my license so I never have to drive again. Now I have to drive again to get my license. So what I'm saying is, I'm going to be going back to the Winnetka DMV in about two months in February. Please, everybody, stay off the roads of the week of August 20th. I'm going to be over there driving, specifically Sherman Way. So what road is the DMV on? Do you remember? Because we go to the park. Whatever it is, it's around Sherman Way. Just, in fact, just everybody move out of Winnetka for that month. All right. You ready? You go like this. You go down. Legs down. And then you catch it. Yes! Yeah! 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 you got a big choice to make. You can do three and go for three dollars or take the two dollars and go back to where that Go for three. All right, take that one. There we go. Really, really strict. Take it away from your body like that. I mean, just a little bit. See how my arms are bent? We go down, we clap, and then as it's coming down, we have to do it! Now, wait a minute. You're putting your hands under the Keep the clacks and keeps it all together. Down, and then as it's coming down, do it! Oh! You got $3, Isabella. You can go back to a neck and buy half of a Happy Meal. Maybe get some of those delicious chicken nuggets we've been talking about all the time. Or you can go for four.
want to do danger? No, I'm doing the danger. The very first dangerous item we have. The hatchet. 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 The next dangerous item we have. The bowling ball. And the last dangerous item. Very scary. A lot of kids get frightened when they see this. Get ready to be terrified because here comes the dough man. Terrifying, isn't he? He represents gluten in LA. Right, if that was staring, and not only that, he always comes with his dough man hatchet, so he's like that. He walks into the bedroom at night. Oh! Oh! I know. Squishy, squishy. All right, I'm going to talk to these. Everybody repeat after me. Say, I promise. I promise. To never try this trick at home. I just do this somewhere else, not at home. Yeah, go to your grandma's house. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to grandma's house. It's all good. Oh. Grandma lives with me. What? Grandma lives with me. Oh, grandma lives with you? Oh, well, that's like a logic paradox. <laughs> you know, because then her, but is it her house or is she staying with the family? You know what I mean? <laughs> if it's her house, maybe you live with grandma, then, then you would do it at your own house. I don't want to get into this. <laughs> Where do you guys live again? Golden Heights. Golden Heights. Very tricky down there with your little Richard Joyce. <laughs> Bowling ball. To give me a bruise. This. To give me a cut. This. To become a biscuit at any second. I don't know what it can do. I'll say one, two, three. Everybody yell juggle. We're going to juggle these three things. Okay, I just said I'm going to juggle them. That kid's giving us all a pull. Can you hear that over there? That's a congestion. What's going on? Let's get some night pull in that baby right now. I've had every, I've had every cold I can turn into that already. I say one, two, three. Everybody yell juggle. One, two, three. There it is. When I say three, we'll all yell juggle. A one! A two! And a three! Jumpy boy, get over here. Come on down. Come on down, Red. Here we go. That's okay. Here we go. Is he coming? Where's he? Oh, there he is. Get on down. Here we go. You want to come on stage? I'll show you what you're going to do. It's not too tricky, okay? Get over here. Where's the dude? Is he coming? Oh, here you go. Come on over, buddy. This is what both of you are going to do. Come here, buddy. What is your name? Raffi. Wait, you changed your name. What happened? I thought he said he was deaf something. Now he's Raffi? Raffi, how old are you? D. D? You're D age? I don't even know what the D age is. Is this common core math? I don't know. What I... He's fainted, everybody. Is he an narcoleptic? What's going on? You sent a narcoleptic onto my stage? Oh, you're three. He said he was D. I was confused. What is your name? Nyla. Nyla, how old are you? Three. Oh, you're, you're D like him. Okay, great. Oh, three. Three, sorry. Nyla, can you... Nyla, stand right there. Rafi, stand right there. 
All right, when I say the word symbol, actually, now let's stand a little bit backwards right there. Uh, Rafi, a little bit backwards. When I say symbol, you both do this. Take it. You ready? Take it. When I say that word, you whack it, okay? Whoa, what was that? <laughs> symbol! Kick it off my left knee, back to the top of the parasol. Stand right there. Rafi, stand right next to Nyla. On the count of three, this audience is going to give you a huge round of applause. Are you ready for a huge round of applause? This is it. Hold hands together. There you go. Do you, Rafi, take Nyla to be your wonderful wife? In a loud voice, say, I do. <laughs> no, you're too young to get married, right? No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nyla, how old do you have to be to get married? Three. Oh, three? I talk to your family about that one. I don't know what's going on. Nyla, did you want to get married today? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, but you're too young. We'll wait. We'll wait like 25 years or something. We'll be back. I'll buy you, I'll buy you dinner, you know what I mean? And then you can talk about unicorns, because I know you like unicorns, you too. Here we go. Rafi? Rafi? Uh, if you did ever get married when you were older, where would you take your wife on a honeymoon? I don't know. <laughs> where would you like to go on a fun trip, Nyla? On a roller coaster. Oh, roller coaster honeymoon. I love it. Would you want to go on a roller coaster, Rafi? No. Yeah, okay. That's, it's not going to work out between you two. I know. Phil, it's a Dr. Phil show in the future. I don't want to. But you know what, you two? You guys both just made some money. Did you know that? Here we go. You each get a dollar for being in show business. Well, easy, Rafi. Get ready. Can you take your dollars? Wait. I'm going to say one, two, three. We're going to give them a huge round of applause. One, two, three! We did a lot. Who likes prizes today? Who likes prizes? All right. On the table, we have... Um, these right here, fill those out, and we're gonna get some prize action happening today. Oh, and we still got these prizes, right? Here we go, we've got a little helicopter fun. We've got, well this is fun, when your mom and dad are sleeping, right when they go to sleep, run in their room and do this. Things you love them. There we go. There we go. All right. There's that. Oh, when your little sister's asleep and she's barely going to sleep, she just yell, There's a snake! There's a snake! There you go. There's that. When, um, when you want to look like a man, like I want to look like, except I'm not, I'm not a man. Put this on. There we go. And this is a prize packet of a harmonica and some jacks all in one. And there's a mystery prize today, too. If you fill those out, we'll, we'll figure it all out and figure out a big winner today. No, no soccer balls today. That's for I, each show I pick tricks. There's like a couple tricks that I didn't pick today because uh, depending on the age of the kids and what's going on and all the craziness. Mm. Why what? Why do I have the what things? Oh, because I got a raspy voice because I was talking for 65 minutes and I got a raspy voice. And I, got, I did like a bunch of shows yesterday. I have a lot of clients. I've been doing a lot of shows for Downtown Disney. I have another show tonight at Buena Park, Teatro Martini. And so I um, wanted to drink something because I got a little bit of a raspy voice. Is that okay with you? I'm um, handing it to me. Come hand it to me. Thank you. 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 Oh, there we go. Let me don't just shake it at me. Just shaking it at me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Awesome. There's what? I know there's pickles on the stage. It's too crazy. Just holding your dollar for the whole time? You, you gotta win. You don't just get something. You might get something. We don't know. I'm just going to wait and see if you get something. We're gonna, we'll see what prize thing you get. Yeah, whatever. I got kids. I'm immune to it. I was checking the whole show to see if my daughter's still crying. Let me see if I got a text if she's still crying. Yeah. Is that my daughter? What's going on? Here we go. Oh, awesome. All right. This is it. Let me see. Nah, her, let her wallow. Uh, we're in for the night. Okay, that's what's going on. Let her wallow. There we go. All right, do we get them all? 
Okay, I need, uh, Danielle, will you tell me a number between one and five? Give all the kids and help out today a big round of applause. 